Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on dynamically setting the tab order using VBA Excel. I have on this worksheet fictitious data, and I have six variables that I want to populate using a user form, specifically text box controls on a user form. I have quiz one, quiz two, final exam, exam comments, grade, and outcome. So these are the six variables. If I select the cell B3 and move over to this blue rectangle, and this is associated with a subroutine that opens this user form. You can see I have a user form and it has six text boxes and the labels correspond to the variable names I have on this worksheet. Now I have some code in this project so that when a text box is active the background is yellow so that makes it easier to see. And as I click tab you can see that the focus moves from one text box to the other, in this case from left to right so this quiz one is text box one and this outcome is text box six. So it's moving in order of the names of the text box controls. However, what if the exam comments text box is really only for an exam that has a score less than 90? So if the score is 90 or above, you'd want the user to move right from final exam to grade, so there would be no exam comments. So in this instance, we'd want to dynamically change the tab order. So let's take a look at the Visual Basic Editor, Alt F11. See I have the user form here with these six text box controls. And when I select one, if we move over to the properties here on the left, we can see that the tab index property is set to 1 for text box 1. And for 2, it's set to 2 and so on all the way through text box 6. And this is how it was set by default because this is the order in which these text box controls were placed on the user form. So every time this user form is opened, it's going to use this default tab index unless in the initialize subroutine I change the tab index. Now in this case, I want the tab index to change based on a value entered into text box 3. If the value is 90 or greater, it's going to skip text box 4. If it's less than 90, it's going to continue to text box 4 when the user hits the tab key. So I'm going to double click on this text box 3 and move up to the top right here and select change. So this is text box 3 change. And I want to first check the value in text box 3. So this will be an if then else statement. So if convert integer which is cint text box 3 dot value is greater than or equal to 90. So in this case we want the tab order that's set by default to change. So if the score is greater than or equal to 90 we want the text box 4, the exam comments text box to be skipped. So then we have then and moving to the next line of code this will be text box 4 dot tab index in this case I'm going to set it to 10 because I know that tab index value the value 10 is greater than any of the other tab index values on the user form so this will mean that the text box 4 control will receive the focus last as the user continues to hit the tab key. Then for else, I'm going to set this back to the default. So in this case I'm just going to copy control C and paste control V and instead of the value 10 I'm going to make this 4. That's the default Xbox 4 tab index. Then I'm going to close off this 
if then else statement with end if. So if the value for text box 3 after being converted to an integer is greater than or equal to 90, we're going to see the default tab order change. If it's less than 90, it's going to stay at tab index 4. So moving back to the worksheet, I have cell B3 selected here. That's the next participant that I want to enter data for. So quiz 1, let's just use 80, click tab, quiz 2, 75. Then we come to final exam. So in this case, I'm going to use 95. Now this should skip, when I click tab, this should skip exam comments. And it does. It goes right to grade. And this will be grade of B and an outcome of 0. So outcome, would say, would be 0 or 1. Click Enter. You can see that the data is now populated in this row within these variables. I go back in and I'll just use 90 for quiz 1, 85 for quiz 2, and in this case 78 for the final exam. And now I would expect it to go to comments and it does. So let's just assume that this final exam has a verbal component and a math component and we want to note what area was lower. So in this case just type verbal just letting the whoever's reading this know that the exam is the exam score is mostly affected by the verbal component of the exam. Click tab and the grade and again the outcome and click enter and see we have the data entered into the correct row and if I go back and open the user form and hit the tab key several times you can see the order is restored back to default so the tab order being adjusted so that text box 4 is skipped that's only active when we have a score of less than 90 in this final exam text box, in text box 3. I hope you found this video on dynamically setting the tab order in VBA Excel to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.